Hello, Sam Kellagioni, brewer and founder of Dogfish Head. Psyched to be here live at Dogfish Milton today to talk about some of my favorite records and books that came out this year. From the book side, here's one that we're super psyched about called Sweet Dream. So it's a book by Dylan Jones and it tells the story of the New Romantics movement, which is really the kind of uh, moment when punk morphed into sort of a more synth-based rock in the UK. Next will be a book called Major Labels by Kalefa Senna. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing, but he's an amazing journalist. Uh, staying in the musical vein for books, we have The History of Bones by an artist named uh, John Lurie, who is famous, most famous as a member of the Lounge Lizards, a kind of punky uh, jazz band in New York. Uh, next up, a beautiful book by uh, Rick Ridgway, uh, who did a lot of photography and filming with and for uh, Patagonia. And next would be this book, Gastro Obscura, A Food Adventurer's Guide. This is from the folks um, that also do Atlas Obscura. This next one, The Org Organic Farming Revolution, uh, is a book that is uh, put out by uh, the folks at Downey's Books out of Maine. Next would be a great book on Rodenbach. So Dogfish is proud to be the number one selling sour beer producing brand in America. Rodenbach's the most globally renowned. Moving into fiction, a book called uh, Damnation Springs was a great read this year by Ash Davidson. And last but absolutely not least is Jonathan Franzen's Crossroads. So most famous probably for his book, The Corrections, that came out over a decade ago. Moving from uh, the written word to uh, the experience of listening to art, uh, for favorite albums of the year. One of my is definitely this beautiful box set uh, from our friends at the Numero Group, a killer indie uh, record label. It's called Pastor T.L. Barrett and the Youth for Christ Choir, I Shall Wear a Crown. Next up would be this sort of maxi single by Debbie Deb. Uh, if you love Eric B and Rakim, Run DMC, Fat Boys, LL Cool J, first gen sort of uh, hip hop. This is coming out of sort of that era. Next record would be by an artist who's played Dogfish many times, Bonnie Prince Billy. Um, in this one, he's uh, playing in a duo with an amazing guitarist named Matt Sweeney. Next album up would be from the band The Wild Hymns, and the album is Stories with the Moon. This is the newest album in my collection. This band was just playing at Dogfish Head on our stage in Rehoboth. Next up would be a beautiful box set from the Bush Tetras, best of the Bush Tetras. Next up would be a band that's totally huge, like the Bruce Springsteen uh, of, of Canada, did not get their due here in the U.S. to the degree I think they deserve. My co-worker Steve McLean gave me this album. I think it came out in 1989, a seminal album uh, from the Tragically Hip. Uh, last but not least of the albums that we listened to the most uh, this year would be this one, Arlo Parks. Collapsed in Sunbeam. Uh, she's an amazing, talented young artist out of the UK. So there you have it, some of my favorite books uh, and, and music uh, for myself and co-workers at Dogfish. It was fun for me to share these with you, uh, things that Dogfish digs, and who knows, maybe there'll be uh, other opportunities to share these kinds of things with you guys in the future.